now I'd, I'd like to turn to you, Mr. Al Hamadi, and um, you have overseen really the possibly the world's most successful first of a kind, first in country nuclear new build project. And I would love if you would just tell us the story of how that came about. Thank you, first of all, I'm very honored and delighted to be here and uh, join you today. And uh, I listened this morning to, to the session, it was very exciting. But that session in the morning today, the, the, the dialogue just reminded me of our discussion 2006, 2007, we we're, were having the same debate, by the way, and looking at the future, what is the best ways for the nation to, uh, to be sustainable and at the same time uh, do celebrate the last barrel of oil. And when that barrel of oil goes out from our export, what, what are we going to do? Well, what are the solutions available? So then around that time, that's 15 years ago, uh, we, uh, we started discussing and, and what are the sources and what technologies do we have available in a realistic manner? What can we do? Uh, at that time, uh, Mustard was uh, established, a renewable uh, company in the, uh, in the UAE. And, uh, and nuclear was also was evaluated as an option in case we still have a demand of double digits of electricity demand in the country, will nuclear will be viable. And that's where 2008, the energy, energy, energy policy for nuclear was, was published. And fast forward today, in the UAE, we've installed 80% of the renewable energy in the region. We have one of the biggest plants around 1.2 gigawatt of, of solar power plant. Uh, and the tariff, by the way, is around 1.6 cents per kilowatt. Uh, that's very cheap by comparison. And in nuclear, uh, we managed to uh, build four units. Uh, we have two have been commissioned, and they're one of them is operational, another, another one is linked to grid and being tested. Now we are couple hundred megawatts of electricity also being dispatched. Uh, the first one, it's full capacity, and we are expecting to, to have a refueling outage in April of that uh, unit. Third unit, we've, I, today we've announced, by the way, the completion of construction of unit three, and that's something uh, in our journey of, uh, of, uh, of success in our program. Unit four will be, by, by two years from today, we'll have 25% of electricity uh, from nuclear. And that will avoid us emitting around 21 tons, uh, 20, 21 million tons of, emission, uh, of CO2 only from the nuclear power plants. And that's a, a dramatic shift for the country. So Abu Dhabi itself will be over 50% from clean sources of energy. And that's a, a, a dramatic and, and, and fast uh, change for the country. It's, it's kind of incredible to think that 15 years ago, there was no uh, regulatory capability the skills, the supply chain to build, maintain and operate and successfully deliver such a large plant on schedule and on budget. That's a kind of an extraordinary achievement. And it seems like a very, you know, it seems like the kind of achievement, the kind of ambition, strategic intent, and then successful implementation that we need for the global transition. So can you tell me a bit about what, what are you gonna do next? So uh, <laughs> first of all, looking at- Now what? <laughs> looking, uh, let me talk about today, then you could talk about the future. So we managed to do this transformational uh, change in, in the country from in the last 15 years. So as I said, we've installed 80% of renewable in the region in, in the UAE, and we've installed uh, the, the nuclear power plants uh, in that record time. And that's, as I said, transformational for the nation. So now we've, we managed to take a lot of, of, uh, of uh, carbon emissions of, of, the, of the demand and growth. Now, uh, looking at the future, uh, everybody knows, well, that's why we are here. Climate change is, is, is a serious issue and need to be tackled immediately. We have to be more realistic in our approach. And that's why we, in the UAE, we've selected the uh, current available technologies and we uh, you know, working on building on them. Looking at the future, hydrogen has also a huge potential and we do see that as, as an opportunity for the, uh, for the future. In the morning there was a discussion on SMR, uh, just not just electricity of SMR, even steam from SMR, that has, has the potential also to, to grow. So we are planning to tap in all of those resources to be able to secure our future and, and, and grow the, uh, the energy portfolio in a sustainable and, and uh, manner. And also the country has published that uh, has made a policy and commitment by 2050 
will have a net zero uh, economy when it comes to energy. And that's something which is a part of our uh, of our growth. So to your question, uh, what we accomplished in the, uh, in the 10, 15 years has to be, I would say a multiplier for our for our growth. So have, hopefully it will be like, uh, uh, also I want to use the word pedestal, but uh, kind of a, an exponential growth. And the commitment is there. Mm -hmm. The nation is, is very committed. And also looking at the horizon of the, of the world today, uh, UAE is uh, very committed to be a key player in the in the in the, in the economy in the, in the world. Looking at Europe now, uh, a lot of companies like BMW, for example, imports the aluminum from the UAE. And the key enabler for that, we have uh, an aluminum smelter using renewable energy and future also nuclear energy mm -hmm. to uh, to power its uh, plants to produce clean aluminum. And so, uh, I don't drive BMW by the way, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, great to see and get a feel of that coming from the UAE uh, from the UAE side. Our biggest oil and gas company, by the way, they consume around five gig uh, five gigawatts, mm -hmm. and they just last week signed to buy all the power from the nuclear power plants and renewable to be able to uh, to uh, to have a clean uh, That's industry. So oil producing nation, net zero commitments, people, this is like a really incredible thing. And, you know, with the combination of strategic intent, leadership and the, you know, financial and human resources, you know, I, I, it makes me feel kind of hopeful. So thank you for sharing that. So.